YouTube. This is Bubs Comics coming at you with a super awesome comic call. <sighs> okay. So I had a want list for 2020. And the deal was that I did not have an exact... I put, I put on there some books that were very specific. But then I also put on books that were kind of placeholder books. So I didn't necessarily have to get that book. But there was a series of books in my mind that matched that category uh, in my want list. So a lot of it was heavy on DC um, Golden Age. I definitely wanted a Superman Golden Age book. I definitely wanted a... Uh, Wonder Woman Golden Age book, a Batman Golden Age book. And when I say Golden Age, I just mean pre-code. I'm not getting into, you know, Adam Age and all that kind of stuff. I just, in, in a simple manner, anything pre-code to me is is good enough to call that Golden Age for most of us. Uh, but anyway, I wanted, a, I wanted a Batman, a Wonder Woman, and a um, Superman. And then, last but not least... I didn't even put this on the list. I didn't even have anything resembling it on the list because I didn't think it would happen. I wanted a Flash. Golden Age Flash. Check that out. Oh, yeah. I'm in love. <laughs> so, uh, here is all Flash number eight. DC Comics from January slash February 1943. Uh, look at that. Look at the colors on that. Isn't that just amazing? Check that out. Classic flash running pose. It says another complete novel length story, The Flash and the Formula to Fairyland. Hey, you know, they got a little silly back then. Look at that. January, February. It says um, Gardner Fox story, E.E. E. Hibbard cover and art. So that's E.E. E. Hibbard art and significance of this book other than being a golden age flash is it's a full there's a full page ad for comic cavalcade number one so this is pre comic cavalcade uh flash so comic cavalcade is kind of an anthology type book um all flash um previously was all flash quarterly and as you can imagine came out quarterly um and i think that stopped I want to say the first issue of All Flash Quarterly to drop the quarterly, I think, was number six. So this is number eight. So this is a couple of issues down from there uh, prior to Comic Cavalcade, but after All Flash Quarterly, which I'm really happy about because I never cared for the quarterly at the bottom where it says All Flash and then it says quarterly. And then I think issue six and seven says now a bi-monthly magazine. So that kind of obstructive too. This doesn't have any of that on there. So I'm very happy with that. There's the back cover. Advertisement for Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll of Honor. Cool stuff. Now this book's got issues. I listed it as a 0.5. So here's what's, here's what's cool about this book. Uh, and being a 0.5. <sighs> what's a 0.5 mean? Well, it can mean lots of different things. But to me, uh, it's a 0.5 because it has tape. Um, a, a copious amount of tape. I'm fairly convinced that it's trimmed on one side. Uh, it sure looks that way to me. And my thing about trimming is, is that sometimes it's hard to detect. But if you think it's trimmed, it's trimmed. So that, <laughs> that's, that's basically, that's my rule on trimming. You might not know it's trimmed by looking at it, but if you think it's trimmed, it's then you know it's definitely trimmed. So anyway, I think this book's trimmed. Uh, it also has a centerfold missing. Which really sucks because this is an all. It, the whole point of All Flash is that it's pretty much a full-length novel of Flash story. It has chapters and it just goes through the whole thing, almost like a like a trade. Uh, very very cool. But what's great is that the centerfold didn't include the story. So the centerfold had like a B story or something that was in between chapters and ran about four pages and and one of the pages is missing and the other page was an ad. So yeah, man. <laughs> I'll take that all day. You kidding me? Uninterrupted true story? Of course, if you were to get this slabbed by a, an official grading company, they would say that it was um, a story affected, you know, missing story, missing art, whatever. It would say all that. But to me, it's unaffected because I don't care about the one ad. I have plenty of other ads to read in this book. And I don't care anything about the little, uh, whatever, fake Popeye story they were trying to run uh, in the middle of the book. So... I'm good with that. 
So anyway, look at that. All flash. Jay Garrett. Oh, amazing. Amazing Golden Age Flash. I'm so happy to have this. I'm so happy. All right, I'll, I'll let you guys relax from that. I'll show a couple more books that I'm also super happy. I mean, this whole haul, this is a, this is a small haul, but all good haul. Yeah, something like that. Uh, this just got thrown in. Um, MyComicShop.com sent me this with some other stuff, and this was just kind of a promotion for Sp uh, Spider Woman, uh, now streaming on Disney Plus, the old cartoon. Boy, you want to see some pervy art, man. These guys who drew Spider Woman in the cartoon, it's ridiculous, I, I think, how, uh, how you know, curvy they drew her for a kid's cartoon. But anyway, there you go. Spider Woman ad. All right, here's another key book. Green Lantern, number 16. Uh, this is the first appearance of Star Sapphire. Um, who, of course, was Green Lantern's, you know, Hal Jordan's girlfriend. And then, you know, she gets, like, infected with the Star Sapphire uh, thing. And, you know, whatever. So there she is. First appearance of Star Sapphire, Green Lantern, number 16. Very, very happy to have this book. I uh, did not expect to get this book so soon. It was on my radar. It was on my list of books to get because, I mean, look at that. Look at that Star Sapphire. Isn't that awesome? What a great drawing. Look at that. Hal Jordan getting served. That's so cool. I just love this book. Uh, you know, I don't really have any big Green Lantern keys. I have the, you know, famous Neil Adams Green Lantern, I guess, 76, I guess, was with um, Green Arrow, you know, team up. I have that book, uh, but I... I don't really have any very much Green Lantern. My Green Lantern collection is tiny. So it's going to grow a little bit based on this. And I figure, you know what? I like Star Sapphire. I like the story behind her. I like the way she looks. I'll pick up a couple of Star Sapphire keys and a couple of Star Sapphire books. So that's what this is. So I hope you all appreciate that. Uh, number 16, Green Lantern. That's a big book. Now, I, I didn't pay that much for it because it, it was heavily damaged when I got it. So I, did, I had to do a lot of repair on this book. It's complete, but boy, was it rough. So uh, I know it doesn't look that way, <laughs> but trust me. Uh, so I had to do a lot of work on it. So I got it for, you know, probably about a third what it usually goes for. It's it's easily a $75 to $100 book in, in better condition. So, all right. Next, we got Daredevil number 43. Just because I had to pick up that outside the, the you know, this is, to me, this is a Captain America cover. <laughs> it's got, yes, there's Daredevil, you know, on the front there. But to me, really, it's Captain America cover. So very, very cool. I love that. Uh, Daredevil number 43 with the great, uh, you know, boxing match of Daredevil and, um, and uh, Captain America. I think that's so cool. And last and certainly not least, speaking of Daredevil, we have Daredevil number five. Check this out. Yeah, buddy. So I need your help, comic community. I've sent out a couple of uh, requests to some friends. So far, it turns out I don't have any friends. They haven't really answered me back. <laughs> no, I, I just don't think they know. Um, but what is this? Is that a pen stamp? Is that some sort of old stamp? I mean, you got to think this book's like from, what, 66, 68, somewhere in there. So... You know, that could be an old version of something, but, you know, what stamp is that? It's definitely not a store stamp. It's some kind of price stamp, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't look American. Like, maybe it says six cents, but, I mean, did you really stamp something that was already 12 cents and then half price it with a stamp? Like, you would think it's not worth the ink if you were only getting six cents for it, but I don't know. Maybe so. But there it is. Daredevil number five is one of those beat but complete books. Another one I had to heavily repair, but for the price I paid, it's worth it. I mean, that that document repair tape is really coming quite handy. Um, doing pretty good with these books. Picking up these keys. I'm trying to get the entire Wally Wood uh, run on Daredevil. So still got a few to go, but chipping away at them. Whenever I see one come up for affordable, I snag it. I snag it. So... That's it, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that. I want to show this one off one more time. The big boy of the of the hall. This is the this is the hungry book. Although that Green Lantern's no, I really, I mean, none of these books are are anything to sneeze at. But these two books 
are the expensive books of the hall. Both DC, too. Uh, how about them apples? So my DC, you know, my quest to collect DC gold is pretty much complete. Uh, this is what I wanted. I wanted uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Flash, and I got them. So very, very happy with that. And I didn't have to pick up a Comet Cavalcade, which I was this close. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Comet Cavalcade was an anthology book. It, it collected, um, or it had in it, um, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Green Lantern. So they were part of the Comet Cavalcade, and you saw them on most of the covers. And they're okay, but they're very, they're aimed at children, like, exclusively. They're very childish. All the covers look really kitty type covers, you know. They got one where they're spring cleaning and a couple more where they're at Christmas and Thanksgiving. And it's all very, you know, like something your grandma would buy for you. Oh, you like comics? Oh, here's some, here they're decorating Christmas tree. You like Christmas trees? So anyway, uh, that's a bit of a tangent. But my point was that there was only one comic cavalcade cover that I even like. And I almost got one this week, and instead I went with this all Flash number eight, and I'm very happy to do so. Probably won't have a Golden Age Green Lantern in my collection. I'm not too upset about that. His costume is ridiculously bad. So, <laughs> anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. We'll catch you next time on Bub's Comics. Remember, read a comic, and whoop, don't apologize for the glare. Bye-bye. <laughs>